Hello, Hashgraph community. Welcome back to Hashout. My name is Jim Gao. A disclaimer: I am not an employee at Hedera. I am an investor in HBars and also an independent developer on the Hashgraph platform. I uh, just want to give a quick update today. Um, the HBar price for the past two to three weeks has essentially stabilized uh, uh, at a very narrow trading range between three to four cents. So the price has been stagnating over the past few weeks, and uh, it's not really exciting, you know, especially in um, you know for crypto traders. Um, but you know, I want to say that um, in times like this, you know, when price is not making any movements, um, and it, you know the price did come down from um, you know the previous round of twelve cents. Uh, to this price and the opening high of around 40 cents to this price, which is a 90% discount. So I can sense and uh, and understand that there is a lot of uh, uncertainty and fear um, among the people who invested into Hashgraph, like myself. Over the past few weeks, people just don't know, you know, where the project is going to go from here, but. Um, a disc you know disclosure I haven't been buying any for the past two weeks any H bars uh, but I haven't sold any either so and I probably will not sell any of my H bars until there's going to be a bubble in Hashgraph very similar to the altcoin bubble of uh, 2017 I don't know when this bubble is going to come uh, it could be in two years it could be in ten years but I do think that there will be a bubble uh, in, in Hashgraph um, in the future and um, and I don't know what price you know the H bar will hit during that bubble it could be one dollar it could be ten dollars or even a hundred dollars you know it's hard to predict how big the bubble can get but I think you know people have a feeling you know during the height of the bubble is that People just couldn't believe how high the price of H bar would go. Very similar to two, three weeks ago when H bar price was crashing from um, you know forty cents to to two and a half cents. People just couldn't believe how low the price could go. And in a bub bubble, I think the feeling will be same, but opposite. You know, there's no you know there doesn't seem to be a ceiling of the price. So at that time, that's when I plan to sell some of my H bars get liquidity and uh, invest that that money into the uh, the dap that I'm creating on hashgraph so you know with that said you know I, I think right now is actually a very good time for anyone who are interested in building a dap on hashgraph you know right now is is really when Hashgraph is not getting exposure because there's no price movement uh, everybody is feeling pessimistic uh, and that's, I think, is is the perfect timing for starting your own business. You know, creating your own DAP on Hashgraph. It's uh, like the old adage, right? Um, the best time to start your own business is uh, during a recession. Same can be said um, in in crypto space. You know, when a coin's price is crashing or is stagnating, it's really the best time to to start your own DAP, and um, the reason is simple, you know, because there's no competition out there right now. Um, for example, the decentralized exchange we're building right now on Hashgraph, th there's very little competition. There are probably one or two teams doing similar things as we're doing, but imagine that if we're in a bubble, like in 2017, the the Bitcoin and altcoin bubble, you know, if Hashgraph was in a bubble, there probably is going to be 10, 20 teams doing the exact same thing as we're doing. So it's, it'll be very hard to stand out at that time. That is why, you know, in, in, in the, um, you can view this like the, the coin price recession that we're in now. Right now is a really good time to build your own DAP. I saw a few days ago there was uh, a person in the chat channels. Um, expressing the interest of creating a DAP 
that uh, streams live broadcasting events like uh, sporting events or concerts and setting up a paywall on Hedera Hashgraph to uh, generate revenue. I think that's a great idea, you know, but you need a team to implement that idea. There's a huge gap between conceiving an idea and implementing it in, in the real world. And uh, you need to, you know, find out your knowledge deficiencies and you got to learn many new skills. You got to recruit a team. You got to um, broadcast yourself, your project on YouTube. So all these uh, skill sets, they take time to acquire and uh, to hone. So it's, it's almost like a good thing that, uh, you know, there isn't a lot of um, uh, announcements coming out from Hashgraph. It gives the entrepreneurs like me the time to hone those skills, you know, to build up a team, to um, create a business plan, you know, to um, improve on the on the DAP that uh, we already created, and uh, you know the process can be gradual, but um, even if you just uh, do a little bit every day after six months after a year, you will see that you've made huge progress. So you got to start somewhere, you know, for for any person who who is um, interested in creating their own DAP on Hashgraph, you got to start somewhere. Just like, like I did, just like everyone who tried to build, you know, on Hashgraph did. Because I, th I do think, you know, I do buy into the vision of Lehman that in the future, it's, it will be the individuals and maybe a small team surrounding that individual that will create products and services that will change the world. You don't need, um, you know, a, 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 a um, hundred person team that's funded by VCs and Wall Street, you know, to create a, a centralized company like Pinterest, you know, or like Facebook. Um, I think with the advent of Hashgraph and especially HCS, I think all you need is just a small team of two to three people, you know, to create a product that will be uh, revolutionary um, and this will be decentralized. Um, the reason I say that is uh, because I, I think for the next generation of developers, there's less requirement on the skill of hardcore coding, but more of a skill of integration, like integrating different parts of existing code bases together into a functional product, and also to market such a product to the world. And all this can be can be done by a very small team. You know, uh, you, you don't need to be a, 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 a exceptional coder, but you do need to have a good idea how to integrate different pieces together, and you need to know how to market your idea, how to promote your idea to to the community, and how to build your community too. And I think that's um, um, something can be accomplished with a very small team. So. You, you, you know, if you believe that Hashgraph is going to be this 100-year-old company and, there's going to, and decentralization is the, the trend in the next 10 to 15 years, now is a very good time, I believe, to start, your, start building your own dApp. Of course, I'm not suggesting everyone to quit their daytime jobs and uh, dive into this venture 100%. No, but, but if you're truly interested, if you have this burning desire of entrepreneurship, you know, I think we're living in this, this golden time of opportunity to build our own, um, our own world, you know, to, to disrupt an existing service, centralized service, such as Uber, you know, such as even Amazon and Google, and decentralize such services to individuals like you, you and me. Um, it's something that I think is going to be revolutionary uh, and it's going to be world changing. So that's basically what I try to get with this video is that, yes, I know the, the price is not moving and uh, many people are feeling uncertain and uh, fearful. Um, I th you know, my su suggestion is that um, 
if you have already invested in H bar, doesn't matter at what price point, uh, just stop looking at the price. You know, at least try to look at the, look at the price once every week. You know, um, I tr that's what I try to do. You know, not not to focus too much on the daily movement uh, for what the price is going to be, and focus on other things. Focus on try to build your own DAP, try to build your own team, try to get as much information as as possible about HCS and the Hyperledger fabric because I do think that's what the team is is concentrating is focusing on right now is to come up come up with a SDK that will utilize HCS implement HCS with um, you know in conjunction with Hyperledger fabric and once that SDK is released I think that's when you will see um, a migration of developers from other platforms onto Hashgraph, and maybe six months to twelve months after that, you know, it depends on how robust um, the SDK is. Maybe we'll see the first um, generation of killer apps building on on Hashgraph, and in my opinion, uh, you know, the bubble will not start to ferment until at least. Six to twelve months after HCS is being implemented, so don't worry about the price in the short run. Um, you know, I, I, for me, my, my strategy is I'm not buying anything right now. Uh, and and HCS, I mean, um, Hashgraph is my only holding, H bars, and I'm thinking, planning that uh, if the price drops below two cents, I still have some cash set set aside. That's why I will buy some more. Um, it's hard for me to conceive that the price falling below one cent. Um, I know that you know before. You know, I, I, in my previous videos, I mentioned that uh, it, it was hard for me to 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 imagine the price falling below five cents or four cents. But you know how wrong I was. So never say never, I guess. But you know, I think if the price does approach one cent, I will probably spend. All my cash, you know, on Hashgraph. Um, I know many people are speculating, you know, what's the seed round price. Some people were saying that it was half a penny. Someone was saying it was uh, one tenth of a penny. And you know, I have no visibility into that. Um, but despite, you know, whether it's one penny or um, or half a penny or, or or one tenth, you know, I I believe in the project in the long run. You know. Um, I think that Hashgraph will become this 100-year-old company, and that will revolutionize uh, the internet as we know it today. So, if it gets to one penny, I will accumulate more. If not, you know, I think I have, I have, I have enough right now, and uh, just be patient and um, focus on building instead of uh, speculating and trading on, on, on Hashgraph. I think, uh, at least my personal opinion is that trading is rarely profitable. Uh, it's better just if you believe in the project, just buy and hold, and um, you know wait until there is some kind of mania or like a bubble phase to sell. You know, before then, you know try to try to invest in other ways. I think buying H bars is only one of the ways to invest in Hashgraph. Another is really building on, on top of it. You know, building DApps. So and that right now I think is is the best time to build on Hashgraph. When the price is not moving, when there's no competition, when there's no visibility, you know that's truly the time to start uh, thinking about what kind of business you want to build, and uh, how to implement it, how to recruit, how to build a team, and how to promote it, and um, start learning. You know, start uh, uh, filling the gaps, the knowledge gaps uh, within us, and um, um, you know. Not not be too distracted by by the price. Uh, so that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, just want to give a quick update of uh, my thoughts on the recent development in Hashgraph space. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you.